What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Rubino. And I'm Ryan Ixiel. And we all here today. We're finally back doing trailer reactions. I'm excited uh, back on the, to... We, yes. Back on the wagon. Back on yes. the wagon. Yes. Trying to get back on it. Uh, we are finally going to watch the new Bumblebee trailer. Now, it says trailer number three on it. Do you remember trailer number two? I know we never did a reaction for the number two. We did a reaction to the first one. Yeah, I know we did the first but one, but I didn't know a second one came out. When did the second one come out? And we just tripped. I don't know. Well, most of them, these are all named trailer number three, and they came out two days ago. Yeah, this as is As I was watching. Weird. I don't know. So let the comments comments below. It has to be it. Yeah, let's, let's the comments below this trailer number two, because I don't remember if there's a trailer number three. You probably missed one. Yeah, I missed it. But, um, but yeah, uh, we're I'm super excited about it. I like the first trailer. I'm hoping they're going back, because they're using, of course, the same Bumblebee from the Transformers yes. franchise, the one, but this is more like a prequel or an origin story for him on Earth, because in the first Transformers, we see him, of course, yeah. as a car for Sam Witwe could be purchased, already on Earth. Yeah. We didn't know how he got there necessarily. Of course, the other Transformers came down afterwards, right. after he notified them, but he was always been there on Earth. So now right. we're going to see what he's doing on Earth, how far ago, how long right. ago he actually showed up. Right. So it's good. I'm looking forward to seeing this. And I know a girl took him as yeah. his first, uh, whatever, a girl took her, right? A girl took her. In the first trailer, oh, the a girl pot him or something, or her, yes, her first car yes, or something, or try yes. to work on a mechanic. Yes, I think. Well, I think I think he, he was in a, in a junkyard. Oh no, no, no! I don't know if she bought it. I can't remember the first trailer. I think she's she fixing it. it up or yeah. tries to and realizes it's a sentient. This is not like a normal car. Yeah, you see a face inside her after he opens that the was, up. And all I like, like that. That was that weird, thing? Joe. So, let's see how this neutralized new. I'm hope scared. it's a lot longer, a lot more, a little more shows a little more, and we see what's yeah. going on. So, uh, ready, set. That's how he got injured in the first place. Okay. Oh, that's why he loses his memory. That's true. I want memory the Beatles correction. to work here every day for a year. Cures, kid. Okay, so she gets it for working there. Yeah. That'd be a little freaky. Like Do you speak? You sound like a little bumblebee. Oh. The only person you That's can show yourself around is me. Unless they were driving and all of a sudden... Somebody's there! Hide! You serious? I do a car. <laughs> Let me see if I can fix it. Memory is damaged. I pray this message you find you. Our war rages on. The voice mentioned a war. Are you hiding from something? No. The criminal from our world is hiding on yours. I don't see him. Oh, I forgot he was in this. We'll burn the whole planet to cinders. Bad guys acting like good guys Take to find Bubble because they're calling the bad guy. My back feet! The E 127. You must protect Earth and its people. Thank you. Run! Do not run! She ran. Bumblebee. What have you done? I am so screwed. Yo! That looks... That, okay. It looks more interesting than I was expecting. It looks, it looks more interesting. However, the characters look, look more solid. You know, in yeah. the order of Transformers, they look yeah. very mechanical and very, yeah. very, you know, just yeah. organ mechanical. I'm right. sorry saying that. These look a little more like the original toy line. Yes. They're more solidly built. They have full arm. Yeah. At least the ones they're showing. Maybe a lower resolution, maybe, because they're on Cybertrons or memories or something. Yeah. But they, they look more like the original 90s cartoons. Yes. One, feeling. one thing I am going to say, though, and, okay, I think the movie's going to be good. But I want this movie to be successful because I want to see the original Cybertron before all this even happens. I want to see 
literally that. That's the only reason why I want this movie to be successful. I want to see the movie, the live action movie version of that. It'd be interesting uh, seeing a live action. There'd be no humans really involved, but the yeah. war on Cybertron, how that all started. Exactly. Getting back to that, because we always know they're on Earth now, or at least yeah. in this current incarnation of the franchise. And what I want to know, of course, they brought Cybertron to Earth during that, I can't remember which one it was, but yeah. one of the movies. I think it was the most recent one, actually. They brought Cybertron to Earth and it vanished again, whatever else. Yeah. But I want to see what caused all the issues in the first place. I know it was Decepticons versus the Autobots, and yeah. um, Megatron was one of the causes of the war on, over on Cybertron, I believe, yeah. if I remember correctly. Yeah, I read a couple I, books. I don't but... remember if he was trying to control it. I don't know if he was trying to control it. I, but yeah, this movie looks real good, though. I'm excited, yo. Yo! Seeing how he's almost childlike. Yeah. And she is, I know he's not necessarily childlike. He has his intuitions and uh, his abilities, well, he has memory. But it seems like all his memory got damaged from the first fight. Is I that think, Starscream? Yeah. Or someone said it was I don't like. Know. I don't think it was Starscream. I don't it, think too, it could be. Different voice and looked too different. Well, from well, the original well maybe, that, maybe that was Starscream. Maybe that's what that's what that he. Because, like I said, this is the beginning. This is like someone, the 80s. I, I read a comment saying something about Soundwave. But that was a car. I don't know. I don't, anyway. know I don't think that was Soundwave, but I don't know. Because Starscream was a plane. Yeah, he was a jet, and they he was a jet, uh, right? Yeah. yeah, but I think the only reason why Bumblebee was acting the way he was acting, when after that, but that was only because he got damaged. That's why he was acting so like, well, what's going on? I don't remember. I think that's well, why he, he acts so fell, like a doll, like a like one of those dogs. Like, hey, you know, when remember? he fell down the cliff and all that stuff, and saw and was scanning the yeah. uh, bug, the beetle, and the Volkswagen yeah. car in the beginning. It said memory corrupt, core memory corrupt, and all that yeah. stuff. And, he was and his voice, too. Yeah, I think that's that. how his voice probably got damaged, Maybe too. Maybe his voice got damaged. Well, now we know why his voice got damaged. Yeah. You so know. maybe that's why he lost some of his memories and he didn't, didn't seem to know who Optimus was and that little yeah. R2-D2 type hologram coming yeah. out of his chest. I don't know. That's going to be interesting because I think what they're going to also do is kind of show off the past too of Optimus Prime. So that's going to be really it cool. It seems like they're showing a lot of sh- shots on uh, Cybertron and yeah. a lot of battles going on. So maybe a little yeah. more backstory there too. Because th- if you notice, Optimus Prime looks like the old school cartoon too. Like I said, they're a lot, they yeah. all of them look a lot more blocky, a lot more... Yeah. How they originally looked in the cartoon, rather than very technical, very... You can see the individual yeah. parts of the truck or car they make up on their body. They look more blocky. Yeah. Like they did in the original, like, 90s cartoons and all that stuff. How you, that could be in my, just my perception of it. I think, they, I, I, think they, I, I think they did that for a reason, because, you know, Transformers is a classic. So I think they did it because they wanted to bring back that old school look. You're trying to revamp the yeah. franchise a little more? I, something I, maybe. Yeah, I think they are, because I'm telling you, if this is successful, they're going to go back to that... Old school Transformers, nineteen eighties or seventy, whatever Maybe. the movies came out. But how do you feel about John Cena? Do you feel like John Cena's gonna either help the movie, be annoying, or you just feel I think like so far he looks yeah, decent? Yeah, I, I think he's gonna be cool. Most of his cool. lines you've seen has been jokes. Yeah. So I don't know. If he's gonna be the comic relief or the doofy military dude who can't yeah. keep control. He's eventually gonna be on, end up being the friend or the yeah. uh, helping person or something. I don't know. Because every single line he has so far is like either a joke or they made yeah. fun of or something else. Because so it because it seems like he's gonna be one like thinking, okay, these two Autobots are just trying to chase Bumblebee. I don't think he's Auto- bad. Are those Autobots? They had I, red I mean, eyes. Uh, no. Uh, what is it? I thought they're Decepticons parading Decepticons, around go. as Auto- as good people yeah. trying to find a criminal, criminal who is Bumblebee. Oh, yeah. Which technically, if they won the war in Cybertron or something, then Decepticons yeah. would be the good the uh, main people now, and yeah. he would be a, he would be a uh, rebellious traitor. Yeah. Even though he was the good guy in the war or whatever, yeah. so he technically would be a prisoner. Yeah, I mean, so. I mean, it just it just seems like, hey, help us find him so we can take him home so we don't destroy your planet type thing. It seems like that, and he's just trying to be like, hey, I gotta do what I gotta do to save our to save Earth. So. But yeah, I'm, 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 but yeah, I'm excited. I can't uh, definitely. Uh, I'm looking forward to this movie coming out. It's gonna be good. I think it's gonna be good because I'm glad they're revamping the franchise. Though I'm glad they're they're doing that. Oh yeah. Because it, it needed. Out? They need to do that. Oh, what is going out? Yeah, so this trailer looks really good. They do revamp the franchise because yeah. this is getting a little long, a little repetitive. Yeah. And the, the visuals are great in each movie, but the story is just not there yeah. as compared to the visuals. Yeah, because, okay, first they started off with, uh, what's his face? Fuck. Shia LaBeouf. Shia LaBeouf. And then, no, matter of fact, no, Shia LaBeouf did all three. Ooh, no, yeah, Shia the LaBeouf, first three. The first three. And it was Mark Wahlberg. Then they went the, with the Mark Wahlberg. I think that's when it started to kind of, even though the ending of the last movie looked, it looked like it was, it's gonna, it's gonna continue. I guess maybe they felt like, okay, let's start from not, the beginning. Enough, I don't know. Because I think that's a smart idea to do. Start from the beginning, and then once they're done with the, you know, with the whatever they're gonna do with the with the trilogy, just like in Star Wars, kind of like a Star Wars thing. 
if you think about it. Like, hey, they're going to give you this, but then we're going to show you the beginning of how everything started, and then we're going to go back to... That's what all of them do. They'll have a base storyline. Yeah. Then if it's successful, they'll do a prequel showing how the base storyline happened, or a sequel if there's no need for a base storyline. Yeah. Or, or a prequel to the storyline. But it depends on the story you want to tell. They yeah. started in the middle of the... Just them showing up Earth. So we have all right. the previous stuff before they show up on Earth, all that happens after they show up on Earth, which they've been doing. Yeah. Now they're going to try to go backwards and say, okay, now we're going to go show you what happens on Earth before yeah. they showed up or during the war on Cybertron, how they had the Earth in the first place. Yeah. I just hope they which made uh, the Optimus Prime of uh, Megatron a gun. I hope he makes him a gun. Oh, God. I want that. Do not make him <laughs> into a play. Make <laughs> Megatron, is, if we're going to go back in time, okay? If you're gonna go back in time, I want to see him as a rifle. gun. A I want to see him as a gun at least once. I want to see him as that. Please do that. If you bring it that back, don't bring him into a play. I don't think he's gonna be in this one though. Uh, he's, he's probably not. not. He's, but I'm just no saying. No one showed up yet. Yeah, but I'm just saying in the future because I'm telling you, if this is successful, they're gonna go back even further. Okay. But I want to see him as a gun. Don't make him into a play. I'm sorry. I want to see somebody go. I was like, yeah! Actually, I'm going to jump. Megatron up and use him? Yo, I swear to you, I'm going to literally go ape shit for real if they freaking literally turn him into a gun. Like, I'm going to be like, yes! Thank you! Because I don't, like, I mean, don't get me wrong, I'm pretty sure they're going to, of course, he'll be a plane, but you got to turn him into a gun. You he got to. Forms. But I think the whole thing is, a lot of the current generation, the kids who actually grew up watching the yeah. Star Wars, aren't going to understand that. He's yeah. a gun, that's kind of lame. Yeah. What? No, that's the original form. What are you talking about? Lame. I mean, that's lame. <laughs> I mean, it is lame. But <laughs> it may have been lame, but just to bring back, just to bring back that 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 nostalgia. So this has gone a little long enough. Yeah. We've, uh, we're excited to see the trailer. We're excited to see the movie. I want us to know more about it and hope it's going to revitalize the franchise. So right. Thank you for joining me, Nero. Yeah, no, no problem, man. Thank you for joining me if you're watching it on my channel. In the link description below, if you're watching this on my channel, go check out Robino's page, linked in the description below. It's top five movie reviews, trailer reaction, a lot of good stuff over there. Man, if you're watching it on my channel, check out my boy Rio. Man, he does the same thing, man. He does trailer reactions, movie reviews, same thing I do, and so forth. Also, please also check out Fear Bot Gaming, man. We do uh, VRs on there. We got uh, yeah. other games coming out. Um, yeah, if you we'll like hearing this man scream... Go check out Fear About Gaming. There's a lot of videos of him on the videos on the VR screaming like a little girl. Okay, I do not scream like a little All girl. All the time. I do not scream like a little girl. That's the final word. <laughs> Stay tuned watch the video. Hope to see you on the next video, movie, or trailer reaction we do. Bye. Peace out.